Hey everybody, it's Rob. Today's Black Friday, which also happens to be opening day here. Uh, you know, we've been working real hard for the past f four months or however long it is that we've been here. You know, four months ago when we opened this place, we really didn't have any plans to actually move. It just kind of came up, and it was pretty convenient for us to do so, so we did. And here's the shop, opening day. As you can see, there there's not exactly a, a line out the door since midnight, <laughs> like a lot of people got. But me and Jordan uh, distributed a couple some flyers, you know, locally that look like that. So I'm sure some people are gonna show up. And, you know, four months ago we didn't have anything, any in way of merchandise dice for in the store. So be pretty surprised probably how it turns out. Look at all the stuff we got here. We decorate. We got these little, uh, I don't even know what those are called. Got nice decorations. And when people come in, this is what they're going to see. We got some treats for them. And here's Brenda. What's up, Brenda? Today's the day, guys. I made all this stuff in like four months in between taking care of everyone on the group and on YouTube and the internet. And I enjoyed every minute. I feel creative again because I'm back making things too. Before it was kind of like doing things like partly techniques or maybe one project just to show you. And now I'm making my own stuff and it feels so good. And I just wish the same for you. I wish you could all be here. Um, Shelly's got the coffee percolating. We got some candy and some little cookies for people to come and we don't know what to expect i think this is going to be a process here you know but um we're really excited that finally we got it to the place where we felt that we could open and there would be enough things for people to see that would be interesting anyway i want to show you some of the stuff i made just recently because i'm so proud of them uh, for example um this used to be a flower shop i told you before oh i left my glasses on <laughs> this used to be a, a flower shop, and so I realized that in order to suit the needs of the community, I was going to have to do some floral again. I did silk floral gift baskets before, but it's been a long time. I was glad to see that I kind of still had it. <laughs> it's just going to get better. It's really just um, part of collage, you know, flower arranging. But I did some little teacup arrangements. And, you know, if you do shows or things like that, these, you know, to do some little flower arrangements for your booth is a very nice thing because it kind of fills your booth out. It's a combination of hard and soft. It's always a good thing when you're doing a display. And on these, I made some little dangles. Back when I had my gift line, I sold a lot of things like this to flower shops. So um, I put some tea charms and stuff like that on there, so that was cute. And then I have a lot of boxes and things like that. And I have some vintage things in here. I've got in these drawers you can pick through and pick out wooden, wooden necklaces for $4. If anybody wants any of these, you can let me know. They're, <coughs> they're Philippines. They're made in the Philippines. they got all kinds of cool beads on them, all wooden. Um, I've got all my different uh, purse pulls hanging on chains here to make necklaces. I think these are going to go over well here. Um, I like making the purse pulls. I have little ones. I have big ones. I have um, the packets of scrapbook materials that came out of my own stuff because I had so much that I did up for people to pick through. I have some little mini muse boxes. Some of it's just mostly um, old beads and buttons and broken jewelry here for people to pick up. Um, I have a little bit of stationery. Here's jewelry that I made. Here's our big hair stuff. We had fun making. I'll show you how I did this. This is probably going to look stupid on me, but it's on a clip. And just come in. Woohoo! I think you have to have a lot of hair. But they also could clip on you. So that's kind of fun. I think if you do show stuff like this, it's going to work for you. Fast and easy and fun. Um, what else? Oh, I wanted to show you. A lot of you saw my teapot doll that I was working on. I love teapot dolls. I don't do them real often. It's always like to use an old composition head. 
Well, about a year ago, I was able to get a few pretty decent composition heads, and now I'm looking for teapots to go with, and I found one, so I did one. This is my sleeping teapot beauty. Sleeping, sleeping beauty and teapot. Just taking a little rest. And I did her up. And I just love her. Some people think these are just, I don't know, they, they love them or they think they're creepy. Personally, I think they're just so sweet and they're whimsical. I love whimsy, serendipity and whimsy. I love, oops. And here I made a little fascinator hat made like 40s, 50s style. I'm going to make a whole bunch more of those. Let me see if I can put that back on there so it doesn't fall off. Yep. And here's my box that I made. I want to make a bunch more of those. And then we've got this all filled up back in here too. I've got I've got some uh, bags and things that I picked up and um, some ornaments that I picked up to kind of fill things in. And then I started making some hanging things. I just got this one done yesterday. It's got a Tim Holtz memory key in it. So I'm going to probably sit out here and make some more of them today. Here's a flower arrangement that I made last week. I just tied an old necklace around. No damage to the necklace. That kind of makes a nice ornament for a pot. And this was just a dollar store pot that I spray painted gold. So, you know, you get those clear pots and you think, well, how am I going to make an arrangement? Well, you can fill them with stuff. But that costs more money. Just spray paint it gold and you have like flash glass. So it works out really, really well. Um, here are some of my frames and things that I made. This one is one that I made about 10 years ago for myself. I thought I'd bring it down. Um, these are going to naturally have to be kind of expensive. So I don't know how they'll go here. As opposed to one like this I could sell for $35. One like this would definitely be well over $100. So. But it's kind of nice, you know. To have inexpensive things, but then some special things for, for window dressing in your shop or in your show, at your show. You know, to have like some showstopper type things that you may not necessarily sell, but they draw the eye and bring people in. But they're probably going to buy more like 10 to $30 items, which we have lots of that here. I even have things here for $5, little earrings like I showed you on my earring tree the other day, which where did I put it? This back here somewhere. I made a whole earring tree full of inexpensive earrings. Oh, they're back here in this corner. But you can see how I did the back here. Here's another fascinator in the milliner style. Milliner style roses on it. Um, oh, those are those earrings. Well, I don't know where I put it. It's around here somewhere anyway. It's out for sure. I know. I just my mind is blank right now. So much going on. Anyway, but that's what's happening here. It's a fun place. The only thing that's missing, that's missing is you. But I know you're here with me in spirit. You've taken this journey with me. You saw us the day we moved. You saw us the day we moved in. Uh, you've seen the pictures along the way. Um, I will do a blog journal showing the pictures and progress. As I think people like to see that start to finish type thing. Um, this took me 24 years of hard work to have my own shop and we didn't really come down here to have a shop but I figured why not because I think it's going to open a new window for me for new creativity and just a better feeling so um, come see me sometime 42 and a half Garfield Avenue East Palestine Ohio uh, the phone number here is 330 Eight eight six zero zero five two, and I don't mind giving you that because it's a commercial phone number. So if you're coming from out of town, give me a call. Let me know you're coming. We're open Wednesday, two to nine, Thursday and Friday, ten to five, and Saturday and Sunday, two to six. And uh, we'll be here with the crew, and we'd love to hear from you, and have you stop and see our little fledgling business, and uh, enjoy it with us. So, thanks for all your good wishes, and thank you for my beautiful sign out front. Uh, all those who participated in that, what, what a wonderful gift. What a wonderful gift you all are. Have a wonderful day, and come see us sometime.